Hey, it's Litching Hour on the Lich, and it's the Pocket Bitch Road Show. <laughs> oh, hi hello. there. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. We getting out of prison today? What's, what's that? We getting out of prison today? Maybe. I think that depends on us. It really depends on you guys, yeah. <laughs> hey, Got crazy it. Our whole goal is to stay in prison today. <laughs> Here we go. Winning some gold. this out by another, like, month. What? What? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> what? what? Huh? What? Huh? Donkey! Okay, so you guys are currently uh, trapped uh, down beneath the ground in the slave pits of a wizard named Drazul. Uh, <laughs> you were captured by chaos entities sent by the queen from beyond the stars uh, for your uh, fuck up of destroying a chaotic entity that was supposed to be a general and the coming army of chaos. And uh, your fuck up was met with imprisonment. And uh, you spent, spent a couple months in this prison mining copper when suddenly an earthquake, which may or may not have been brought about by law, you don't know. You know that uh, Boople Snoot's uh, ring did some weird shit right before the earthquake hit. Uh, earthquake hit, release. Um, Dropping two barriers here. But put the map up again. That's not, where's the map? Right here. All right. So it's the map. It's the map. The map. They all started the map. seeing that too. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of my well with an E with a hard E, FJ. Bunch of miners with a hard E. Um. All right. So you guys are down here in the long rectangular room at the bottom of the map. Uh, the two barriers indicated by dots that were like, uh, you know, steel kind of fencing type portcullises and shit. Those are ruined by the earthquake. One on the left leads to the killing pit where you know that they'll just take, they would take dead miners, live miners that were disobedient and they'd throw them in the pit. <laughs> and then there is the orc, uh, the whip master who you killed mm. last week. His body's mm -hmm. laying at your feet. But one of the orcs escaped um, and ran down back down this hall to this uh, middle room. I need a, I need a pointer, but uh, so the middle room on the right, uh, that's where you know where that must be, you know, down that hall where, is where the whipmaster lives. And then there's killing pit on the left. It is quiet. <laughs> the rock has settled from the earthquake. Wait, no, nope. there's a little gurgle of blood as the rest of the life leaves the Whipmaster, and it's over. It's done. We did it. Yeah, thanks. Um, like, uh, no thanks to you, Diomedes, but I am back to life. I was brought back to life. The um, piloting him like a mech. So which orc has my needing the, uh, the, the chief captain dude. yeah the tunnel keep uh, oh right right yeah the yeah keep, second in command yeah okay yeah um is everything's dead is there a whip on one of the ones that just died in front yeah. of us the whip master has a whip indeed yeah I will take I will take that if I can take yeah, that absolutely <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, there's also a jagged club that one of the orc thugs, one of his orc thugs, was uh, holding. The dead one. It's on the ground. Uh. So the whip um is close. Re has but has reach. Uh, let's see. Ignores. Oh. Okay. Okay. Whip is a whip. Does your it does your class damage. In your hands, it does a d10 worth of damage. I believe. Jesus. Good. They need to pay for whipping me for months and not feeding me and shit. Who else doesn't have? Exactly. Yeah, you need to. Oh, that's right. We cut. All right. We come As back I'm to eating. Cooper <laughs> munching on some raw dead orc. Yeah. Someone someone help Cooper. Someone's got something <laughs> they can give them. Like maybe there's the orc's got some. Listen, best I had was salmonella, um, and I've done that already, so sorry. Well, maybe they have like uh, anyway. in their pockets or anything. Let's um. <laughs> They're 
actually a really good question. Let's uh, wait. What did you ask, Pashma? I said, I, I said, do they have like hard tack or something in their pockets? Maybe? That's what I'm wondering. That's what like I'm wondering. Field rations. Uh, definitely. Let's. I'm. Um, we're saving Cooper. Cooper goes to bite, and. Uh, Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. I'm sure there's some other food around here somewhere. I don't think you need to eat people. They, they deserve this, and I'm hungry. Can I eat you one don't too? Want to eat them. You don't know where they've been. I, I don't even need to eat. Like, Can I eat one too? Eating them is going to be like taking their person into your person. That's a level of intimacy. I'm not sure that you want to have with this piece. This the this body. Those orcs, yeah. You know, Isn't that Cooper's right. entire I M.O.? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pray continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're the hard tack in their back. Yeah, they just got and jerky and meat. Whole little sack of it. You're like, yeah, you're feeling good. You're feeling better. And you didn't even have to eat the orc flesh. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Floyd, are you going to eat it as an animal? Oh, well, you're a big mushroom dude. Are you a big mushroom dude still? I don't even know if I actually have a mouth right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a Does groaning. A mushroom need a mouth? <laughs> it's like kind of a... I have, like, those mushroom roots. As Floyd the mushroom person comes... Yeah, you could... Uh, maybe you go over top of it and you just start, like, I don't know, mushrooming it. I will eat its decomposition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You increase its Mushroom decomposition it. rate and then feed off that. <gasps> just just spore all over it so at least you can come back and have some kids later. Oh, spore gosh. hub. It's been a long time since the Pakabichiro show had spore hub. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> a lot of seasons. It's a lot of seasons. Um, okay, so uh, other than maybe or maybe not eating dead orc, what are we doing? Um, Let's rummage around in their stuff. I would, I would like to go to the killing pit and get my memento from my dead friend. I thought we figured out that it would be smarter to get our stuff, so like the killing pit isn't necessary. Oh, you're right. You're right. I a remember that sentence. That's a good point. Yeah. It's um, like if there's a bunch of dead bodies there, there's probably scavengers that are eating the dead bodies. And yeah. We're very under equipped. I, very possible. That's good. Good thinking. Uh, so there is the jagged club. Did I just create an enemy type? <laughs> no. Well, kind of, kind of. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, so, who's got weapons and who doesn't? I think I. Have I think some I rocks. only have my voice. My voice. You had the. Uh, you picked the, up the, the, the knife. That dart thing. thing. Oh, you're right. I do have that dart thing. Iron thorn. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can throw those. Yep. Yeah, that that works. Yep. You got that. Late had a okay. Chester, you didn't have something. You had that big beam. Yeah, and I like it. Oh okay. Uh, Fashma, you wanna you can pick up that club, the orc club. Sure. In case I blow my my voice out. Yeah. Stronghold D and D. Hello. Uh yeah yeah yeah. So that's uh yeah yeah. It's just. Just a regular messy little. It's messy. So when you hit people, it's gonna be messy. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're all. Uh, all right. So continue looting. That's basically it. The orcs had some uh, food on them. The whip. Oh, the armor. Somebody got armor. The whipmaster's armor. I want to say it was Fashma, but I don't remember. Was it you, Fashma? I think it might have been you, Fashma. Had like um, spikes and shit. That did what? Sorry. You had some armor from the Whipmaster? Yes, yes, I did. Um, okay. I think I wrote it down, actually. I don't. Remember. Pretty sure I have it in my character sheet. Yep, yeah, Whipmaster's was, armor. It was two. There's a downside to yeah. it, though. That Not that you told me, no. You just told me it was plus yeah, two it was, armor. Uh, your decks, <laughs> you were like permanently shaky or something like that. Your decks went down. Yeah, it would make an index move. Oh, uh, you're clumsy. Ongoing minus one to anything related to dexterity or speed. You're a little clumsy. You got spiky, nasty orc armor. So I'll click the shaky button then, I guess? Sure. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. 
What are we doing? We are uh, heading down the hallway towards the Whipmaster's room. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Hell yeah! Let's we're trying to get our loot back. All right. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> oh, Floyd also fills the pole of chaos. If you didn't notice that in the chat, I did not notice that. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, Floyd, let's get a D. Wait, no, he rolled plus wisdom. Ooh. I just close. Ever know? Okay. Um. Yeah. Roll I clicked plus on wisdom. the wisdom button. Lord Mayron, hello. Up. It's about to pop up twice if I click it again. Let's find out. Yeah, I think it only rolled the once. Okay. Uh, eleven. Oh, eleven. Okay. That's good. I think why is it eleven? Why? Yeah. Why is it? Why is it eleven? <laughs> so maybe seven. I mean, plus four. Not well, I think it's, in it's counting my, it's counting yeah, my bolts. Yeah, you're counting um, your two forward. Oh. You're not so nine those. technically. Nine. Okay. Okay. Nine. Uh, you were gonna act out, but are stopped by another player. Tell us how you act out, and pick another player to tell us how they stop you. Gain a relevant condition and a bond with that player. I feel like. I'm probably getting a little too excited about uh, the, the decomposing corpses and I'm just spending <laughs> so much time just sticking my roots into everybody. <laughs> Alright, how's somebody else help you to get you finally going? As the the rest, most of them are just going to start heading down the hallway, leaving you. I'll leave that to the party to decide. Okay. <laughs> who, decide, who wants to make this their problem? <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll, I'll help too. Since you gave me that uh, mushroom stuff that's uh, hey, now healing my flesh, like it's now become part of my flesh. Oh, oh yeah, do that. Yep. The healing so I'll come stuff. And, uh, okay. Yeah, I from when I almost died, I got healed with uh, oh, right. mushroom flesh. That's right, yeah. On my head, where I almost died. Yeah. yeah. I so... Yep, now I've got a permanent mushroom patch that grows a mushroom every once in a while that we have to pick off. And <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm a little deformed. It's okay. All right, so how do you get Floyd to stop munching? Um, so I've probably still got some of that stuff left over f because I want to ration it as much as possible. Uh, that was just given to me, so I didn't have to eat that. So I'm going to nicely start pulling them back off of the thing that they're eating and shove this in their mouth. <laughs> what mouth? Doesn't I really don't have know, a mouth. It's a big mushroom. Hell. Oh. Uh, so don't actually need to eat or drink. I'm just doing this because. <laughs> Okay, I like. Okay, what if Cooper, you you just now noticed that you have a little mushrooms growing out of your forehead? Okay. Because when you look back at Floyd, you feel something move on your head. You go, you thought it was a bug. You go to go like this, and you realize it's just like this little mushroom bulb, and it yeah. and it seems to be reaching towards Floyd. So you go over, and then you kind of e your head a little home. bit. You put your yeah. head in a little, just a little thing. Like, I love that. Yeah. And then that's um. It. When you guys wait, are wait, you guys just touch mushroom tips? <laughs> we did. This is what's happening right now. Yes, <laughs> we're touching tips. This is what's happening. There's tip touching, <laughs> mushroom headed tip touching. Uh, and the okay, so and I would say the bond. Okay, so when you touch tips, mushroom tips. flesh, to mushroom <laughs> flesh, a little a little knowing happens. It's not like you. It's not like um. It's 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 kind of like the uh, the the parasite worms in Baldur's it's the Gate. shining in the Baldur's Gate well or shining, but I was thinking like kind of how you can feel each other's minds a little bit in this, okay. but it's in this foreign mushroom language feeling, so it's very foreign and weird, and maybe we can explore what you know if you keep doing this, what yeah, yeah. it could evolve into. Maybe you can read each other's minds. I don't know. In in mushroom form, you don't know if this is gonna work when Floyd's not a mushroom. Yeah. But for right okay. now, there's a moment where you guys' minds touch, and that shakes Floyd away from the you know needless and uh, uh, endless feeding. So condition uh, bond. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, so yeah. bond is um we we we've connected through mushroom, something you know what I mean. 
We've made a mushroom <laughs> connection. Yeah, okay. And then, um... Uh... Lloyd gets a condition. Um... I'm gonna start. I, I kind of like. Okay, so I liked. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna modify Dungeon World on the fly because I really like conditions in um, Brindlewood Bay better than. Because right now there's only what five conditions and they all affect you guys negatively. I do like having thematic conditions, so you are um, satiated, Ooh. Floyd. Nice. I don't know what that mean. What that means? You're gonna be able to spend it or do something. What does that mean, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what say being satiated means. <laughs> Never. This is the same thing as empowered. It does the same thing as empowered does. Oh yeah, <laughs> that. <laughs> I love it. Um. Yes. Okay. Right, I've written that down on my personal notes over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys are who's who's trudging down the hallway first? I'll go first. Hell yeah, yeah buddy. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So, Booble Snoot's sneaking down in there ahead of you, Chester. That's okay. The crust. Not very um... sneaky. Do a discern reality. Hey, Arathic. Er What's up? Saw Grandma uh... kissing Grandpa's claws. Yeah. Oh. have a hold, I don't think. Fact, hold zero. Spend your hold as you walk through. I don't think I have a hold. You, uh, no, you have the, no, you get it by the roll. If you had rolled high enough, you would get it, I think. Right? Okay. I rolled I a, that... I got a six. You got a six. Yeah, that's not going to do it. I don't think so. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I have a hold. So, as so, far as I can tell, there are no traps here. You're uh, heading down this shorn, um, but then as you kind of, um, or not shorn, but like um, like mined, you know, rough walls that start uh, panning out to something a little more smooth and and done, uh, maybe like um, 50 feet, you see the opening and some, from torchlight, you see an opening. Uh, as you come up to the, um, to, to the room, you, it's just filled with rag piles and debris. And there's just a couple fire beetle grease torches you see a door to the left um yeah i'm gonna put you at the doorway oh and then there's a uh there is another door straight ahead so it's straight ahead across the room from you and then one to the left go left ventures go left always left Left. Okay, Boople, as you start heading left towards that left door, out of the pile of one of the pile of rags springs that lone orc that had run back here that you did not detect. I need you to defy danger because this thing's coming at you hey. nasty with a club. I'm gonna try to tumble out of his way. Ten. Ten. Okay. Well, I think ten's a good thing. I I typically, do a Dark Souls back roll. Typically, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I do what I set out to do. The threat doesn't come to bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he comes out, Rawr! but uh, Boople Snoot's a little too squirrely, raccoony. Boom, sure. There you go. Rolls out of the way. Uh, he turns, ah, and he's got Chester there and Boople Snoot. Fosh was right behind. Um, and then we'll say late Floyd and Cooper are coming up the hallway now. Um. He turns, and he come, lunges at you, Chester, swinging, hack and okay. slash. Oh, I'm rolling it? Or yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I, um, in Dungeon World, I, we don't roll for the monsters. You roll, it's part of the, ooh. I miss. Shit. Well, okay, he is going to hit you. Like, okay, so you didn't expect it. You're surprised. Uh, fi uh, Boople Snoot, because of the reflexes of being a little rogue and the the, the raccoon part of her, uh, them just they rolled out of the way. He turns and immediately leaps at you, Chester. So you weren't expecting it, and you take a That's blow. Okay. You take a blow across the head. Um, I'll take, get him next. Time. You're gonna get him next time. D6 damage. Uh. 
Not too bad. Three points of damage. Ooh. Catch you across your brow. Your eye starts, uh, blood starts running over one of your eyes. Um, Bashma, what do you do? Um, I'm a whack him because I'm afraid if I scream, I might hurt somebody else. Okay. You're gonna whack him. Mm. You got a, you got a same kind of club. Yeah. A jagged club. Um, is there a button for melee, or do I manually roll that? Are you just rolling two d six? Just roll two. Oh, you can hit your hack and slash on your character sheet. You can click on hack and slash slash in your actions okay. below on your front, first page. Click. Yeah. Uh, that is a nine. Yeah, you probably don't have any pluses of strength, right? So no, on nine, great. you're gonna deal your damage to the enemy. The enemy makes an attack against you. So, um, okay, you are. What's your damage? D six. D six. Go ahead and roll it. What? Three. Three points of damage. You hit him really solid. You come out from. It's almost like uh, Chester has another arm because this this orc did not notice that you were behind him. Uh, Chester. Chester, are you a dwarf or a human? I forget. I'm a dwarf. dwarf. Okay, so uh, everything I just said is a lie. That. What? I said you can't just ask somebody that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so I lied. So the orc did see uh, you reach over Chester and as, as and he hits Chester, you're hitting him. Bam! But he comes back with a backswing and knocks the club out of your hand. So you're gonna do three points of damage. You hit him really good, though. Hurt him, but in his backswing, he knocked your uh, in your club goes flying, hits the wall. Fantastic. Boople Snoot, what are you doing? I am going to try and hit him uh, with my iron thorn. Okay. That would be. Are you gonna just stab him, or are you gonna ha or throw it? Uh, throw it. Okay, you gotta you gotta do a um. Oh, you shit, gotta do I a volley. I'm so sorry. Let me do a right. volley. How dare you? Yes. 11. Yes. I have a clear shot. Deal my damage. Oof. Go ahead. Oh, he's gonna die. Just go ahead and tell us how he dies with these, with this iron uh, spiky thing. I am going to throw it, and it's gonna go right through his throat. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, Fashma, you would hit this orc. He comes back with a backswing, hits your club out. You go, you watch it fly away. You look back at him, he kind of grins. And then suddenly, this shit comes through his throat. Falls to his knees. Sorry, what was that you were saying, you little shit? <laughs> <laughs> Last minute save, thanks to Boople Snoot. Um, nice. I, I, I hate how often uh, writers use that as a crutch in every fucking show, but I do like it when it can happen in an RPG session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so last minute save. Boom! The orc goes down. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, so and as far as you can tell, there's not going to be any more orcs leaping out of rag piles. You don't. Can think. I uh, pick my club back up, yeah. or does he have something better? <laughs> now he's got the same thing. All right, cool. Root just yeah, throwing I... my shit around. We're we're missing we're down li late, which apparently is throwing off our voice thing. So the voices are light lighting up differently than it should be, which is kind of weird. Oh, actually. oh just, you know uh... why? I think it's because Floyd is pink. It might be my fault because my name I don't remember what my name was before. I think it was <laughs> Sharkface. So I think it was short. It was Sharkface. Shark you were ass. Yeah. If you want to do S and yeah. let's turn it on and see if it, it just just put an S in yeah, front of me for now. Yeah. Quick, wow, it uh, worked! Quick moral quandary, though. Yes. What was this orc doing in a pile of rags? Hmm. He was hiding from you guys. Remember, he had ran away. He was, he was doing exactly Are what he did. Are you sure did. he wasn't just jerking it? He was, he was huffing underwear. He didn't have time to do that. <laughs> he was huffing underwear. That's what he was doing. He calms him down. Oh. He was scared. Fear sniffing. I don't know, Chester, are you going to search through the rags and see if you could figure out why there, it was hiding in there? Oh I mean, gosh. I'd rather light it on fire. Oh, okay. Speed run the final rub. <laughs> I mean, if you know you're going to die, like, why not? You know? Oh my gosh. 
go out with a bang. Such a boy answer. <laughs> yeah. Fucking wow. <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna die. I might as well rub one out. <laughs> Fucking might as well. God damn. That last bit of serotonin really counts. Oh my god. <laughs> he came and then he went. <laughs> Y'all need Emily. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> All right, wow. what are we doing? <laughs> Lloyd and Cooper and Late have all joined you guys in the room. The filthy I'm lumbering. room. Let me see. I'm Was lumbering there... around. What are you guys? You just lumbering around the room? Is that okay? I'm, I'm going towards our destination, just a little slowly. Yeah. Where's our destination? I, don't I think we're going up north. <laughs> I don't remember though. So we was... got to go find our stuff. Yes, right. So you're in this middle room on the right. Uh, there is a door to the left and a door uh, north. You know that the door north. Room. Room. You know the door. You you suspect that the door to the left is probably the whipmaster's personal chambers, and the door to the north, you know, leads to the exit. Right. Okay, so we might as well check out. Chambers. Yeah. What's that? Personal chambers. Oh yeah 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 yeah. All right. Maybe he has like some keys or something. Just in case. All right, who's yeah, all... we did get keys. Okay, who board. is who's going in first? Hell yeah. Uh, oh, all right. That's Chester? Apparently Chester. Yeah. All right, Chester, you're just going to walk up, grab the door, pull it, and you hear a little click. Uh-oh. These is nasty the darts hell? come out. Because, see, the Whipmaster doesn't trust the other orcs. He didn't like them at all, either. Uh, they're... They're thugs, so he traps his door. You're taking 2d4 damage as these darts rip into you. Are they jarts? They are not jarts. Luckily, <laughs> they should for, be. Luckily for him. I don't. I don't get any save against this either. I'm assuming. Um. You know what? Good point. Good point. Defy danger. Defy danger. Can I use There's five damage uh, on the table right now? Can it I, does not. Uh, what stat do you want me to use, or can I? Is this, this the is, one where I can? Exactly. This is the one where you decide which stat you want to. You know. Hell yeah! I'm gonna use Constitution and take it like a man, like a dwarven man. <laughs> you just flex your muscles it really, really hard. Works that way. Six. Right? Yeah, you're taking five. I'm points enduring. Of damage. <laughs> you're taking five points of damage. <laughs> Um, no, Roval, no, the roadshow does not rotate. It's these are the this is the roadshow. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm, you're I'm still alive. Yeah, okay, I'm still alive. I'm so, hurt, but I'm alive. So, so he, <laughs> Chester pushes open the door. Uh, he hears the snick. You might hear him mumble, Oh, shit, guys, and then you hear and four darts just into Chester. He turns around, looks at y'all. It was trapped. I took the pain, therefore it's all my loot, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. Um, Alright, but the door to the uh, filthy Whipmaster's room is now open. Is there a big glowing chest that says our stuff? Filthy. <laughs> um, it, it's actually a little more elegant filthy nest than the room that you're in right now. Um... Uh, there's there's still you know some uh, piles of rags and stuff like but they look a little nicer like they were clothes that people were wearing when they were brought in now they're just um, dirty um, dirty things on his floor but you're gonna have to search around there's a uh, kind of a nasty bed and then some piles of clothes there's no like uh, chests or drawers or like any sort of contained containers no wow God. he's not very organized I smash one of the pieces of furniture out of spite and then i move on <laughs> okay as you go to do that booble snoot this large furry mass erupts out of one of the filthy pi pile of rags comes right at you is it cute it is they really like hiding in rags it is a wait cake. wait 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 if he's trapped the room, this guy got past trap. What? The this fuck? is his pet cave rat. 
Oh. That's coming at you. He's not very cute unless you like way. rat or like. Whoa! What's wrong with rats? <laughs> <laughs> I tumble out of the way. Uh, Booble Snoo is like Bamfin here. <laughs> you think I'm here, but I'm here. Booble Snoo leaps up and out of the way of this cave rat. <laughs> now it's in the middle of the room, hissing at all of you. You're not his daddy. <laughs> I mean, do we? I'm, ah, do I, don't I smell like his father because I'm covered in his blood a bit? Yeah, it looks what, right at you. What do we need to roll to tame the rat? <laughs> I'm glad you spoke up, Chester, because you're right. The cave rat does smell his master on you. He comes yeah, right yeah, at let's you. Let's go, let's go, <laughs> hack and smell, hack and yeah. slice shit. He's coming fast, <laughs> really fast. Whoa. Yeah, I'm dealing <laughs> yeah, my damage with a ten. He's coming Whoa. super fast. <laughs> You uh, rolled a 10? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing your damage. My uh, 1d10, and I'm also going to use that d6 to... That is 10 points of damage total. Oh. Yeah, fuck this what rat. Do you, what'd you do to the rat? I oh. took this 2x4 uh, this log that I got as oh, a weapon, yeah. and I just smack his head. <laughs> In the interest of traumatizing Floyd, because I have spirit tongue... Do I hear the pitiful last words of the rat as this is happening? Oh, Jesus. In the last words, I, can... I should have been jerking it. Oh. <laughs> you just hear it. Yes, it is. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> Your buddy. Oh. Hi, Joshua. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of a Joshua moment a little, there. A little Joshua moment. Yeah. Uh, I, Thanks. So, yeah, the cave rat is a bloody pulp. Uh, thanks to Chester. I saved us. In the middle. I get, He's coming right for me. He had a knife. <laughs> I had no choice. <laughs> you, uh, as you search the room, you are going to find some stuff. Is uh, it our stuff? You find, uh, well, you find a battered shield, if anybody would like a shield. Gives you one defense. Uh, put it in, works great with a whip. Uh, a cave bow with some arrows, three arrows. Uh, oh, oh gosh, did I forget to mention? Uh, I did forget to mention, and this is, um, I, and I'm terribly sorry. There was more than filthy rags in this room. There were oh, no. several items that looked like, um, like somebody tried to make uh, uh, an animal shape um, that's like animal skin sewn together and they're on the bed um, uh, but they're like animal skin so when you get up close you can see that there's like gore and they're stuffed with gore and bugs I it's thought you were both to describe animals. sex doll right quick Ex and I was, I was very concerned <laughs> it's his stuffed Ex animals that oh. uh, confirming oh yeah Google, <laughs> to, confirm, I forgot about yeah. that <laughs> Literally, right. they look like um, they, you can't really tell what kind of animals the flesh is and shit. It might not even be animal flesh, but it's sewn together with and then stuff of rags, gore, and bugs. But in addition to those, the cave bow is three arrows. Late Greedma West. approves of that. I just want to let you know <laughs> that is uh, Greedma Radio approved. <laughs> <laughs> Radio man, hello. Welcome to Rivendell. Uh, okay, uh, three bandages. Uh, they'll heal for uh, 1d4 each one. The whetstone, late, oh. late's whetstone. And a uh, lantern. I'll take the bandages because I don't have a way to heal anybody right now. I think there's only two of us that have heals. Yeah. Speaking of which, is, who's who's injured right now? Chester's oh, injured. Oh me, <laughs> a lot. Can, yeah. can I heal? Do you Chester? want a bandage? Oh no, you got. Oh, sorry. Well, if if I can do it. <laughs> I displayed a bandage and it rolled a D A. Oh, it's because I listed it under gear. That's why. Okay, yeah, don't. I'm a. I'm a. Click the button. Click the button. Where's this lantern at? I. Oh, that is you right. Gotta, okay. I got a 10. So, yeah. I can heal 2d8. So... Okay. Yep. 2d8. Yeah. 
Wait, two D eight. You get two. <laughs> yeah, because I I can use it twice. Yeah. I have the. Uh... So Fashma sings oh. a beautiful song. Fashma is a bard, by the way, for everybody in the audience. Yes. Fashma sings a beautiful song for Chester, the the uh, paladin. Is a soft that, song. It wasn't that good. Was it, no. <laughs> it was good enough to heal <laughs> it wasn't him. That well. good. He, only got, he only got two health out of oh, it. But jeez. <laughs> it was all so it's, you could you could use the bandages too. <laughs> so bandages probably heal more. <laughs> one d four. Right, yeah. Let me use let me let me use one of those bandages. Yeah. Uh, just one's fine. Yeah. Let me watch it be on, another one. Booplestone or on Chester? <laughs> on Chester, but I okay. have the bandages. Oh, I see. Nice. Two more <laughs> points of damage. Or, uh, I'm sorry, other uh, reverse damage. Undamage. <laughs> reverse damage. Undamage. Fantastic. Did anybody want the shield? Cooper, do you want a shield? Or Chester, do you want a shield? Uh, I do not want a shield. I'll take it. All right, it will give you one armor. Okay. And obviously, you're using it in the other hand. So you have a whip in one hand and a shield in the other. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. I'm pretty cool. I feel like I needed to wield this timber with <laughs> two hands and anyway. this, this massive wood, if you will. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can I hang the lantern in my horns? <laughs> yeah. That's right. You have mushroom horn. You have hor your big mushroom with horns. Yeah, I'm always pink. I always have horns. I always have a tentacle oh, arm. Right, my, right. One of my legs is always longer. <laughs> right. Why won't it let, let me add one armor? Oh, uh, let's see how we can do that. Um, Probably because you don't have it in your gear. Oh. Yeah. So if you add a shield to your gear, you should probably be able to say. Yeah, so sub... Gear, yeah, you add a gear here. I can do it. Um, oh, I see. Okay, I should remember to put my bark skin over here so it actually displays the armor I have. Wait, equipped. Um, does it add oh, yeah. a weapon? Oh, armor here it is, and then yeah, base armor one. Thanks. Then, okay, I'll add my whip this way too, right. Yep, and your armor's added now. Okay, yep. thank you. Yep. Okay, so and then you'll I'll be able to click on it. If you add a weapon, you'll be able to click on the actual word of the weapon. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yar. Yeah, actually, Roval, we don't rotate cast <clears throat> members, but we do rotate games sometimes. And and there will be more of that soon. Not too soon. So is that the only loot we find in this room? That's the only loot you find in this room. Yes. All right. Yeah. Go did you got a shield? Oh, did you want the did Boople Snow? Did you take the cave bow? Oh, cave bow. I didn't hear the cave bow. Let cave me do bow. That. Yes, three arrows. That. Okay. Make them count. Make them count. No pressure, cave though. Bow. Uh, does it have the far tag still? Yes. Cool. Okay, so uh, nowhere else to go out of this room. All right, well, north northward then, I think. Yeah, northward. Okay. Cool. While they're all searching, can I make a little tiny little hole to put the rest of the rad in and then bury him? And give him a nice little... Yeah. Can I, can I'm not I doing it for any of the orcs, but I'm doing it for can the rat. Can, can I, I take about the like animal? stuffed animal things? What do you want to do with the stuffed animal things? I want to take one. Okay. All right, so you take one... Uh, it's got a little bit of fur, but then like a like a patch of skin that's could be human because it's not furry, and uh, one eye. Is it a real eye or a fake eye? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a googly eye. I don't know. I don't. I don't. What do you? You know what? What do you say? I I think it's a real eye. Okay. Somehow they sense. got a real eye. Oh, and there's two, and the other one's like a mar a clear glass thing of some sort. Yeah, they just it's, it's like a, a a rock they painted white and put a little black dot on it. Makes a little soft squishy noise, but it's the only one that isn't leaking. Fantastic. So you got that. Yeah. All right, Fashma has a uh, stuffed animal, a orc stuffed animal. 
Right. I'm so glad somebody picked one up. I wanted to, but I don't have anywhere to keep it. <laughs> In your arms. In your arms. But I'm I'm filled with other stuff. Oh right, you ha you're In using rage. your arms for yeah. real things. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You could strap it to your back. Can I put it? Do I have a little belt on that I could like tuck a it in? <laughs> no. I don't even know how Fashima's carrying. I guess Kai Fosh has got it underneath their arm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. You use I it as a it. shield, Fashima? Oh my gosh. Um, the, what, yes. the, the meat sack stuffed animal? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I can. I was kind of keeping it as a, a memento, but yeah. Well, we're just thinking about how the, the, it's, it's going to be about this big. Be about this big. So you gotta right. figure out how you're carrying it. Got it. So uh, not an uh, idea shark. Well, I don't really have anything to strap it onto, so yeah, I guess I'm just holding it for now. They have sharks in IKEA? Yeah. Blash. <laughs> yeah, they're huge too. They're fluffy. I'm sorry, are we talking wait, there's sharks at IKEA? Is that what you said? Yeah, there's stuffed uh -huh. sharks at IKEA and oh. they're big. Okay. They're real <laughs> they're pretty damn big. Oh. Good to know. What do you fucking use that for? Uh, Hitting people, I guess. <laughs> so like a body pillow thing, or your leg in bed, I know. A shark. Okay. Yeah, it's a weapon for oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You think you're happy right now? Your life could be ten times better if you got that IKEA shark. <laughs> do you have an IKEA shark? Not yet. Is it a Sharkia? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I am saying Great. that I've been to Ikea enough times that I've stared longingly at it, and I'm just like, I need it. <laughs> okay. Who's opening the north door? I will. Can we, can we check it for different. traps first this time? Oh, yeah. We have somebody to do that. <laughs> Boopus new, you want to check the door uh, for traps? Yes, after I post a link. To where you can get the soft toy shark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, that's, that's, okay. That's there for chat. Okay, I'm checking for traps. Uh, oh my gosh. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> boop, 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 I think we figured out Greed's next purchase. Pretty decent, <laughs> decent <laughs> price for it too. Yeah. All right. I have three hold now. Um, okay. I want to spend one of my hold, two hold then. Uh, is there a trap here? And if so, what activates it? Um, uh, what activates it? Okay, the... There is indeed a trap. Um, it is activated when the door is opened. Um, it looks like there's a key mechanism that, uh, is used to open the door. So, with the doors open without the key, the key in there or whatever is used to open it, it will, the trap will go off. Okay. And then what happens when the trap is activated? You're thinking, what does the trap do when activated? Judging by the scorched floor or scorched thing around, you think it might shoot f flames. Okay. What else is hidden here? Uh, what else is hidden here? Yes. Oh. Um, the, uh, the key. The key is uh, well, that's there is a little there is a little um, uh, a little alcove next to the down by the left side of the door like a little stone's been removed and you look in there and you find the key. Okay. Which you promptly put I... into the door. I'm just gonna <laughs> say it right and click. Yes. You hear a click 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 and then it is safe to open. I open the door. No flames. Really works. What? Using the, the key under the, the welcome mat trick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Figuring if any slaves came running in, they wouldn't be checking the door for traps. They'd be just trying to grab the, you know, open the door and run out. Yeah. They were 50% right. Yes. Absolutely. You open the door to a small, uh, a small passageway, and then in, uh, in the torchlight, you could see uh, what, the beginning of a bridge. And you feel a little bit of a wind. Okay. Uh, are we having flashbacks to that one bridge that we crossed that many moons ago? 
Oh, yeah, the invisible one. Yeah. Yeah, you or, suddenly yeah. are filled with dread as you can hear the screams of those birds that attacked you guys and killed so many of those people on that invisible bridge. Oh. You remember how the bridge wasn't so invisible with blood and oh my God. all over it. That Wasn't that what killed me? I think it yeah. killed a lot of people. What I think that me, Cooper maybe? specifically died to that, and then when... Um, Oh yeah. yeah then I got brought up. back because yeah. of the the wheel of Oh my gosh, I'm having like super P PTSD yeah, there, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm freaking out, man. Do you, do you need a hug? <laughs> I, I need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking in my boots. I don't even know if I have boots on, but I'm shaking in them. I found some boots, I'm not as shook in them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Metaphorically. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. Benjamin yeah, so. Yeah, I think I'm freaked out about this, honestly. Uh, who's going to go check out this new. new way? You know that there's a chasm. It's on the map. You hadn't seen it before. Can we see the map? See the map? See the map? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, so there's the bridge. Hmm. Are there other people on the other side of the bridge? Can I can you... I just toss like a, a stone or a pebble or something out there to make sure there's not like something waiting for movement? Yeah, before or yes. You could do that or or is Chester gonna walk out on out to the bridge? I'm imagining you guys are in the doorway. You don't see I, I, anything across the, the chasm. It's dark. Um, you just see the beginning of the bridge. What, uh, Fashma, you gonna let Chester, you gonna let Fashma throw something first? Yeah, I'll let Fashma throw something. All right, something. what are you throwing? Well, I don't Please know, whatever's, lantern. whatever's throwable <laughs> nearby, I guess, or they're like rocks or a piece of wood or no fucking a, a dead rodent. I don't, I don't care, something. <laughs> Your stuffed animal. It, I'm not throwing my stuffed animal. I worked. What hard if for we this. grab one of the leaking ones and throw that? Oh my gosh! Okay, we could do that. Wet thud on the ground. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's fleshy, so if something's looking for flesh, maybe it'll come out. All right, so you're gonna throw one of those things? Yep. Are you going for distance or? Um, I'm gonna aim for the other side of the bridge. If I can't make it that far, like on the bridge. All right, throw a volley. He's going for speed. I was going that too. <laughs> Glad somebody brought it up because that yeah. was also in my head. All yeah. right, so I'm doing a, a yeah. You're gonna do volley, volley. You yeah, volley. Yeah. Wish me luck. Well, <laughs> it's a three. <laughs> okay, so you step forward, Fosh, but you go. You throw the sloppy, you get gore juice running down your hands. Ah, little beetles ah, come running out. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, you throw it, you go, eh, and it goes, it's crawling up. Plop, it falls right at the base of uh, the bridge. Plop. And what you now see to be looks like there might be um, some kind of uh, uh, vegetation there. Then suddenly the vegetation goes, grabs it, tears it apart with wet shit. And two, and you see it get two halves of this thing get dragged on either side of the bridge down the chasm. Flesh well, plants. Ooh, ah. Uh, well, I so <laughs> we have an oil lantern, correct? You do. You don't want to burn and the bridge before we cross it. Lit. <laughs> the bridge right. does appear to be stone. Just saying. Okay. So we just, you know. Light these fire, plants fire on fire. Yeah. Firebomb? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, we should grab some of those rags that they weren't masturbating. Oh, oh my gosh. god, Molotovs. <laughs> Flaming rags. Molotovs stuffed animals? Oh my god. <laughs> the exploding <laughs> gourd beetles. And fire. Okay, I I could get behind this. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I just want to point out our lawful paladin is the first one who uh, suggested arson. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're plants. They're not people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. wow. That's that's racist. Yep. 
Dud. Luckily, I did not pick up Pete here. Racism and waffles seem to go pretty well to go together. Oh my gosh! Oh god! Wow. Anyway, okay. Sad truth. So, okay. So yeah, I really do like this. We have flaming fucking stuffed animals that. We okay. So we're doing another. All right. So we're dumping some candle. The fire beetle oil on one of these other stuffed animals. We're lighting it on fire and we're throwing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Somebody else throw it. Maybe I was about to say maybe somebody who can throw better should throw this one. <laughs> I'm pretty weak right now from right being. Now. I could try, but I'm pretty I, weak from being. I think Boopless Dude's our best tosser right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, wow! I got this. Damn. I got this. Damn. Wow! Toss like okay. you know tomorrow, okay. guys. Wow! Okay, okay. Molly. <laughs> uh, well, no, you're just trying to. You're just trying to go. What, what? What exactly are you trying to do? Like throwing it wise? Because I don't think if you're just trying to like get the stuff in front of the bridge, I don't think you have to roll for it. Trying to get. You thought we were throwing it at plants. Well, the plants are at kind of along the base. They, okay, so do you now notice that you see the black shadows of the of the vines come up over the lip and kind of run all along the lip of the chasm, including somewhat in front of the of the bridge. So, if you so where, where are you throwing it? I think just far enough that it would attract yes. the plants. Yeah, it is good. It's. Do you think Just flames are going to attract the plants? Well, the meat flesh, the flooding, it's not going to be completely on fire when we throw it. Oh. Right? It's just going to be a little bit on fire, but then it pulls it down. So we'll, we'll, like, pour some of the oil inside of it and then stick a rag in there and then yeah. light the rag and then they pull it down and then it explodes. Yeah, that sounds like awesome. <laughs> we could also make fire arrows as well, if need Ooh. be. I <laughs> yeah, know we only have yeah. three arrows. But we could be more of a and no and no than... bow, right? We would just no, be we like a, hand no, throwing them. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. I will tell you what. I will give you okay the because uh, I love uh, like I fucking love the stuffed animal bomb Molotov cocktail. You guys just mm -hmm. toss that. It hits the base of the bridge, um, hits it, um, and then the uh, the the cloth of the flame lays lays down and it's just slowly burning. But that that thing hit with a squash. The vines come out again. They start encircling it, and then that's when the flame hits the the oil. It goes, Poof. and you hear a, almost like a rustling, screeching as the vines pull back on fire and move away from the bridge. So nice. you have a you have. I think it's time to space. go. <laughs> yeah, right, it's time to go. <laughs> you guys start heading up, and unfortunately, however, the earthquake earthquake destroyed the bridge. Like oh. as you get up to it, you see now that the whole middle part of the bridge is gone. Having how, how wide? Portable. How wide? Not wide enough for you to jump. Damn it! No, wide enough to toss. To... <laughs> 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 toss me! Don't you ever speak a word of this. <laughs> um, it's gonna be pretty obvious that you are gonna have to find a different way across the chasm. So yeah, we'll backtrack yeah, all the way to the other route in the cabin. Oh, look, I guess we're going to the killing pit. <laughs> <laughs> you, did, you really didn't think you were going to get out of here without going to the killing pit, did you? <laughs> Listen, we were, going to, <laughs> we were going to go to the killing pit after we got our stuff. But, uh, well, I'll tell you what. So we're going to take our break, and when we get back, the uh, gang goes to the killing pit. Oh, great. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> oh, God, there's no way I could crit again. You, you, sure? you say that. You fucking did you it. Did. You just killed <laughs> This is hilarious. I'm really itching for some swashbucklers. I'm in need of a good tentacle twist. And a hot swash. Hmm. Oh, maybe some ketchup chips. <laughs>
Yes, Daddy Hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Murder. Imagine that. Nobody's going home before I suck some. Just so everybody knows, and we definitely have to record this, the the goose has stolen Grandma and Grandpa's sex tape number 76 or whatever it is. A cougar has been roaming West Valley City for more than a week, and a resident caught the cat on camera. Oi! Yeah, I've seen the cougar! I've seen the cougar, bitch! She was over here! My name's Arthur Irwin. I live in the area. He lives in the area of 44, 55 South and 32nd West. Damn! Damn, mate! What are you docksmith for? Now, any creep can come up and get me! Cougar was in his backyard on July 4th in the early morning and said the cougar was a scary surprise, especially because he has two dogs. Those aren't dogs, those are my cubs. Agile animals, aren't they? The Division of Wildlife Resources asks that residents in West Valley City keep pets and pet food inside. Don't worry about the dogs, mate. She wants man meat. She wants man meat. Get your gun. See the cougar, call local law enforcement or the DWR office.
I'm arriving. I'm showing up. I'm almost there. I'm landing. I'm checking in. I'm reaching. I'm emerging. I'm dropping anchor. I'm, a, I'm developing. Grandma's here. What? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm sorry. Do you got a towel? Do we? Do we need one? I do. <laughs> you gotta dis you gotta diversify in this world. Then I'm gonna go global. <laughs> Humans, tasty, right? Good eatings, but too many of them think they're Rick Grimes, coming at us zombies all hacking with their samurai swords. It's bullshit. But you know what these humans really hate? Their own urine. Yep. Especially if you get in their eyes. Or their mouth. Oh, they hate that. <laughs> Introducing Normie Be Gone. Turns out, if you spray them with their own piss, they stay away. Oh, here comes a Normie now. I'm totally Daryl. <laughs> Bad Normie. Gone. What is this? Oh, oh, gross. What is this? Is this urine? Oh, oh, oh. Normie be gone. By Zombo. Get ready for war. Get ready for war. Get ready for war. Give us a time to And we're back. <gasps> Heading <gasps> towards the killing pit. Oh. Uh, killing pits, let's go. Now you Trepid got shuffle. You got to all of you are kind of like trepidatious about this. I mean, I know Fashma that you the microphone's probably at the bottom of a killing pit, but you as you start moving down the corridor towards this, you start maybe rethinking it because you're seeing all this webbing. Okay. <laughs> Oh God, spiders! The the oh. the the, uh, the passageway opens up, and there's the there's just one. It's just one big pit. There you see bodies hanging, covered in webbing, and then there's a ledge that goes around the pit, and then leads out uh, at the north. Um, I'm assuming the the entire inside of the pit is covered in webs, like yes, a funnel there's spider. Webbing everywhere. Yes. <laughs> fantastic um and i don't want to burn the web because then everything falls into the pit and we can't get it back so this is going to be extra fun <laughs> well um can we uh hmm. so I, I want to take a quick pull here um how do you guys feel about just triggering the spider because it, it, we need it to come out of the hole <laughs> hey how do you guys feel about triggering the spider? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's a spider in a hole. Why don't we just throw some fire things down there? Because then everything falls into the pit and we can't get it because it'll burn the webs. Yeah. That's that's the that's the first thing I said. <laughs> okay. Maybe. I mean Do I hear the spider? Is it making any chittering noises right yeah. now? <laughs> it is it is deathly quiet in here. Definitely quiet. <clears throat> also, is it is the ceiling open, or are we like in a hallway where we can't see the ceiling? Oh, it's it's. There's a ceiling. You're in a cavern, kind of small. It's a cavern, not small. It's okay. it's not. You you can see it. You squint. You okay. can see the yeah. All right. I'm just making sure it's not going to drop down on us like Goma. <laughs> can I do a discern realities to find the spider? Yeah, that's a great idea. Discern realities. Can I can I aid this? Uh, so that's actually an eight, not a because okay. it's still adding my holds. But sure, an eight. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think that. So I get one question. Yeah. Um, can I just where's ask the where's the <laughs> yeah, where's the spider? Yeah. Where's the fucking spider at? <laughs> yeah, where's where's the spider hiding? Where's the spadusi? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Smash. <laughs> Smash. Smash. I saw an opening and I had to take it. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. yeah, he sure did. There's nobody in here but us monsters. <laughs> um, all right, Floyd, you kind of move forward and you study the webbing. 
You're studying the vibrations of the webbing. The air, feeling the air. Oh, the spider's having a good time. And then, <laughs> and then suddenly, this large shape, this leg comes up, another leg comes up, and it pulls oh. itself up out of the pit, and it is way bigger than you had had, had imagined. It just rises up. It's not even fully out of the pit yet. It shouldn't even. The pit seems too small for this thing, but its eight eyes are glowing orbs. Don't worry about it. Um, I might be worried about it. The deadlights. The deadlights are blaring at you. Yeah, it's, this it, is it's, a it's, whole lot bigger than the spider people that I encountered and learned from. <laughs> this is a little too much. Yeah, this for one's me. a lot, lot scary. Uh, yeah, those are forest spiders. This is uh, this is cave spider. Ooh, it's the deadlight. That's not the spidersy. It's the classy. Oh, <laughs> I see. Uh, it's white. It's it's albino white, glowing glowing red light eyes. Oh. Is it making any noises? It's like um, it's coming up, or is it just it's so just quiet? Gnashing quietly, gnashing. Ew. It's moving up. It's gonna grab one of you. I'm gonna have nightmares. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Why do you do this? To <laughs> hey, I, I, leave, I'm not gonna. I'll be respectful. I won't have any spider. Thank you. I you're okay. I I have been waiting can... for it to pop up. I'm like, no, you gonna give me a warning or what? No, I won't do that to you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, since the Floyd Floyd is a big mushroom thing, you look tasty, or at least a threat. The spider skitters to you. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Do you want me to do a Well, no, it just like it starts off a hack and slash if you want, depending on what you want to do. Do you want to avoid it? Do you want to attack it? Do you what do you want to do? Um Can I scream at it? Before you're in the direct route? <laughs> I, I would like to yell in its face. Scream at it. <laughs> yell yelling at the face. Would can. it echo since we're in a cavern? That's Ooh. probably how it's going to be if you fail, roll poorly. Yeah, right. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we don't even think... know if there's just one of these. Yeah, we're going to find think... out. I think so far, like, Floyd just has, like, his hands up in a, like, I don't want to hurt you stance. Even though it's a very big spoder. <laughs> so soon he can do his thing. All right. All right, so Fashma... Uh, just as it uh, skitters towards Floyd, Fashma's racing forward and yells, screams. Yeah. Ree! Ree! Uh, I got an eight. That doesn't feel... Wait a minute. I don't think that added my current... Why is it rolling con? What the fuck? <laughs> That's weird. I'm pretty sure Iron yeah. Berlin is supposed to be con. I thought it was supposed to be charisma. That's what it was before. Oh no, it has con I'm, in there. It's... It's. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's it always. Was, been, it's no, supposed to have been it was, con. It was. It was plus three before. I don't know. Maybe it got changed. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are, man. I'm just going by what it told me. <laughs> Whatever. I got uh, an eight. Okay. 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 Uh, still damages, but it's out of control. I Fantastic. choose a different target. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, I shouldn't have said about the cavern. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, Floyd and, uh, actually, I'm going to have, instead of damaging Floyd, I want, uh, I want you to roll a defy danger, um, either wh whatever it is you think you could do, but you're going to get pushed towards the spider oh. or in the pit and blown off into the pit, uh, by the oh. savage. It did four damage. Four damage to the, uh, -huh. uh spider. Let's see. Hmm. What would make the most sense? I don't think it would be string. You can't train your eardrums. <laughs> Do I have eardrums right now? Probably. I'll I think it, the closest I think it's either box. dexterity strength or I would maybe accept constitution. Just Let's just go constitution it. then. Just, just brace for it. <laughs> yeah. I hear him wind up and my my the mushroom gills on my head. The sharp inhale. <laughs> the mushroom gills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
11. Oh, 11. Yes, all right. Uh, because of your mushroom form, it absorbs the sounds better, and you don't take a, as an impact. You do feel... I will actually take my hold down by one this time, though, because I'm actively okay. using mushroom stuff. Okay. Um, so are you still going to be a mushroom after this is over? Yeah, I, st okay. I still have hold afterwards, just... All right. The, the sound is vibrating within the cells of your mushroom. You are vibrating a little bit and with the sound. Mitochondria is the rave house of the cell. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the spider goes, rears back. And then suddenly it leaps up above you and disappears. What do you do? And I look to see if it's up there and... Hey, actually, so this has a ceiling. Can I, can we still make those fire arrows? Uh, I'd say you have enough. I don't know if you used all the, you didn't probably use all the lantern oil, did you? No, I, don't I, would, so. I would assume we've just enough to make it explosive. Can we, can I shoot a fire arrow up there to illuminate the ceiling? Hmm, yeah, let's do that. Um, uh, roll a volley. Suddenly, everything's on fire. <laughs> how are you lighting this? Like, uh, how are you lighting? How are you guys getting fire? We're gonna dip that in the oil, and then there's enough rock around that rock I'm sure that around. we can find something that makes a spark. Oh. Okay, so our that seems pretty work intensive for right now. Are you are you guys retreating? The spider's not gonna wait around for you to light. Figure out how to light. The arrows no, we'll fuck up the spider if he shows his ugly face. See, I, I figured, I imagined that we had the lantern lit, lit like on somebody's hip or holding oh. it or something. Oh, yeah, that I was that we we're using it to like walk. I thought that too. Cavern. I didn't know if it it's... wasn't lit. I okay. also thought it was lit because I'm like, oh, I don't have dark vision, so dangling this yeah. lantern from my antlers seems helpful that, to me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I we imagine we're using it. Didn't I, didn't, <laughs> yes. Okay, I missed all that. So Bye. yeah. All right. Okay. Seven. I deal my damage and choose one. I have to move to get the shot, placing me in danger. I have to... I'm not really looking to do damage, so I'm going to take minus 1d6 damage. Unless you want me to put... Uh, unless, because I'm not doing damage, you want me to be in danger. I'll leave that up to you, GM. Oh, no. No, no. You pick. You pick, because... I don't want to do damage, so I'm going to take minus 1d6 damage. Yeah, so, uh, so um, what that's going to translate to is uh, you shoot that one arrow. You've got two now. If you dip mm -hmm. it really quick, you uh, throw it, it goes, it hits the, it's going to hit the ceiling and then it's going to fall back down and go out. But that moment oh, okay. that it goes up there, you see that dark shape and all the eyes and the light reflects off cool. the eyes and it leaps, all right. leaps down on top of Floyd. Kinky. No time to fuck it up. Uh, and then it's dark again, by the way, the, the ceiling's dark again. Yes, Floyd. What are you doing? Um. Well, this is still not really like saying much. It probably isn't saying much. So I guess no. I should just start fighting back. What do you? Um, why do you? So do you have something? What do you have that you? Uh, so since it's a spider, and that's one of the things in like the Great Forest, oh. I can understand what it's saying. I can't speak back to it though. Oh. I think I need a different feature to speak back. Okay. Okay. Let me double check the SRD real quick to make sure I'm not lying about not being able to speak back. Hey, we're Wait, coming to murder you. Shoot. <laughs> oh, Shoot I'm looking die. at the hearts. That's why. Let's see. Yeah. Grunt sparks and chirps of animals in the wild are language to you. I remember reading a second one. Well, it's not going to be saying anything um, intelligible. What you're feeling is like uh, intense hunger. Mm -hmm. It's very, the, very hungry. He's in the dead pit, though. He's in the, the dead killing pit. pit. Yeah, it's been a little yeah, while since somebody threw something a, down there. It's rotten meat. That's not good food. Terrible orc management. You are big and moving around and <laughs> probably have blood. <laughs> and juicy insides. Good enough. 
This Wait a minute. Knows me too Blood, well. juicy insides. Can I throw my stuffed animal at it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you poor I don't actually animal. see a different one that says I can speak back. So whether or not I can actually speak back to it is up to you. <laughs> um, what would you like to try to communicate? Um, I feel like I just want to say... My charisma sucks, but... <laughs> <laughs> you are not going to roll to seduce the spider. Oh. <laughs> Come on. No, that, that's that's not what Floyd wants anyway. <laughs> okay. That's not what Floyd wants. I just wanted to crush his dream. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I think at this point, Floyd's like, all right, it's tried to eat me twice. It's rules of nature time. So I'm going to try to hack and slash the spider back. Okay. I want to I want to uppercut let's, it as it's jumping at me. Okay, let's do this. You only have like one hold left as a mushroom, right? Yeah. Smash. All right, so... <laughs> So uh, this would probably be the last thing you do as a mushroom. So yeah. what? Let's why the mushroom shape? What cool fucking thing can you do as the mushroom? You know? Can I get the spider high? <gasps> oh, <laughs> interesting. Just release all of my spores into its face. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> oh wait, we got it. We got a sound for that. Hold on. Uh, yes, oh. daddy hobo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, let's let's fucking do that. Um let's roll let's make it a defy danger. Okay. Uh, what's on your back and you are going to um well, what's your best one? Wisdom or constitution? Well, let's do constitution cuz that feels okay. like a a body thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Releasing all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 10. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> All right. So, um, Fashma, are you still throwing this stuffed animal, or are you? If it's necessary, I would, I, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> All right. So the, the the spider leaps down, almost completely covering Floyd, even though Floyd's Ugh. pretty big. Uh, and you see, it's a little. It goes to sink its mandibles in, but then Floyd kind of goes. You hear a clouds of clouds of spores come out right into his mandible face. <laughs> Around it, the spider shakily leaps away. Not as smooth and elegant as it had in the past. It leaps and kind of um, uh, stumbles on some web and crawls down into the pit. As fast as He's it looking came. For munchies. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or is he tripping balls? I'm not sure which. You know, Floyd's gonna like pick himself up, dust himself off. Pick the lantern up in a hand instead of the antlers now. Oh, hi, Fairy Team Chris. And then Floyd's like, Bell me! That should buy us some time. Alright. Um, I would still like to find my, uh, my memento. Ah. The, the, spider has the arrow didn't go out. The arrow hit and fell. It did not stick. And um, the, when the spider goes down, you realize you see a little bit of fire. You look down, and the pit isn't actually... It's only like maybe 10 feet deep, 10, 15 feet deep. But there's a bit of a ledge that's where the spider had went. So the, the ledge that you're on, the, the, the pit below you is a little bit wider, not, but not as deep as you're thinking. Okay. I would, I would still like to get my memento. I don't know if it's in the pit or if it's like hanging in the web or. Um. Right. So you see some bodies hanging in the webbing, um, and you see assorted things on the ground, and then the the fire goes out. You see a bunch of shit on the f ground, like bones. Uh, you know, bones. Maybe you, you, did you see a knapsack? Shine, maybe there was a knapsack or something. Shiny, shiny shit or something. Yeah. You know. see, you see the remains of thing of people. Fantastic. So I need to go down there. <laughs> yes. I <don't>, well, <laughs> I don't know that I have a safe way to get down and back up. Uh, so. My whip is only about... Whips are only like eight feet long, huh? Yeah. Eight so, feet seems really long. Ten feet is a, the longest is it? one. Oh, okay. Yeah, eight feet, yeah. Whips are usually about six to eight feet. So. Nice. I, got a I guess I could... <laughs> Floyd, so I, I mean, could what? help you down with that, but Floyd, you hear a little whisper in your head, a little, a little shadowy whisper. <gasps> shadowy whisper. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, what does it say? It. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm okay. saying. It's a uh, familiar. <laughs> it's uh, it's Shade Slayer. Oh. <gasps> Can I go towards the sound of the whisper? You just know that it's nearby. Gotcha. Is my is my singing dagger down there? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Can know. I hear it just bellowing away? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I think as soon Marco. as Floyd hears it, he's yeah. just gonna go. He's just gonna go in. You just, just like, like jumping sliding the down. Pit. Yeah. Well, I'm, he's gonna like slide down like, like the side a little bit. Okay. And he's gonna like, go down. All right. Fl Floyd just went down to the pit. What are the rest of you doing? I'm going with, I guess. Yep. All right. Yeah. Into the pit. Um, I'll yeah, let you all slide pit. down. Into the pickle style. pit. Into the pickle pit. Uh, okay. Um, who's got the lantern still? Is it Floyd? It's, it's Floyd. All right. <laughs> Floyd's that's leading the charge with the lanterns. Cool. Find yourselves down at the bottom of the pit. The uh, the other end underneath the ledge does extend out just uh, out just into darkness, like you thought. You only have the 15 feet radius of the of the lantern, but you uh, and you land in a bunch of bones, <laughs> carcasses. So you've got the cavern floor, the killing pit, covered in bones and and scraps of things, and the darkness. You know the spider is still there somewhere. Are we gonna? What are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? Everybody's there, right? All of you went down there. Uh, Hell yeah. I yeah. think okay. so. Hell yeah. Going in the fucking pit. All right, that, now would be probably a good time for me to toss the little stuffed animal thing, maybe as a distraction, so we can grab stuff and get the fuck out. Okay. Yeah, just like throw. Can I? Can I tell where the spider is? No. Well, no. You just figure that it's in the back part of the cavern. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just be scared of it. Here, I'm gonna give it to somebody else to throw it because I can't fucking throw for shit, so <laughs> And are we somebody doing anything? This. this is just the the stuffed gore thing on its own? Yes. Okay. Maybe I'll maybe I'll give it a little like poke to let some of the juices come out to entice it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. I mean you're not lighting it on fire or anything is my point. No. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Who's throwing it? Who's, who can throw better than me? I have a minus one in decks, so... I got you. Alright. Pass, I'll pass it to Poople Snoop, then. Eight. Oh. Eight. Uh, I'll have to take what I can get. Minus one yeah. to six damage. <clears throat> well, uh, no, no, no. So for volley? Oh, 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 for volley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, Take what you get... Hmm. It's going to equal the same thing, just like before. <laughs> yeah. Same thing as the first bullet. Um, Boople Snoot uh, moves forward. A um, Some bones go <laughs> around you, and you go to throw it. As you're going to throw it, the spider comes out of the darkness coming right at you. <laughs> so the doll hits the it's in its face <laughs> and as it's coming at you, giving you a minute to defy danger. A second, not a minute. Giving you a split second to defy danger. Hesitator flinch. The GM will offer you a worse outcome, hard bargain, or ugly choice. Okay. I slip on some of the bones. Well, yeah. Um, so you're oh, you're slipping. Okay, so you're trying to dodge. Yeah. I was you like narratively, I'm gonna. I, I figure I slip on some of the bones, or wasn't anticipating the bones underneath me. This spider is going to um, bite either you or Fashma. Okay. Fashma is right. standing right behind you. So it's up to Booble Snoot. I'll take it. You're going to take the, the bite? I'm going to take the bite. You go to kind of go. I, yeah. Can I defend? Uh, when you stand, you can after their bit. Okay. You can be like, all right, I'm going to defend so it doesn't like start drinking her blood or whatever the fuck they do. Right. Um, webbing her up. Okay, so roll. Um, okay, Poople Snoot, you are bit. It does d6 damage. Ooh, that's a spicy Ooh, bite. That's a spicy that's, bite. That is spicy. Ah, Five damage. I'm bleeding. And I need a you lot. to make a con check, please. Con Just roll plus con. Con button. Look at it again. 
please. I click on the full name one or the short. Okay, because it was acting a little finicky earlier too. Eight. 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 All right, you are going to choose two of these options. Okay. Uh, you aren't immediately paralyzed. You aren't Immediate. debilitated. <laughs> you don't take a savage amount of damage. I'm going to choose. I am not debilitated, and I am not the third one. Damage. Right, I will. So I'm not. You, okay. Yeah, I'm not immediately paralyzed, or I I am immediately paralyzed. I guess you are immediately paralyzed. Yes. Okay. Um. So that was the spider's turn, right? That was well. Yeah, that's the beginning. So you guys tell me what you're doing. They don't really have turns, but yeah. Yes. Fucking up your turn, spider. Chester. So, uh, Foshman, your horror, you see Booplesnoop get bit, and she just stops as the spider, and then the spider looks up as more more moving and stuff, but Booplesnoop is not moving. And Chester, you're launching into action. What are you doing with your, with your lumber? Yeah, my wood. My two-handed wood. Little bones. Little bones. Let's do that. Oh yeah. my word! The yeah, Viper Mara. The poison is from the bite. Yeah, the the paralysis is from the poison in the bite. Immunity to poison. Yeah. What's up, Bones? How are you guys doing? How is your? Are you doing a little uh, Call of Duty after Baldur's Gate? How is your Baldur's Gate going? Um, all right, so Chester's coming, sw- jumping in the pile of bones, swinging his massive wood. That's two handed wood. His two handed wood. You got mad at Baldur's Gate. That's funny. <laughs> real, real quick. Piles of bones. They're uh, in the bottom of the killing pit, which happens to house a giant poisonous spider that just bit Boople Snoot and paralyzed them. Yes, Boople? Uh, and it's not, the poison it has is neither bloodweed nor salmonella, correct? Right. No. Okay. Po- it's spider poison. Spider poison. spider poison. Okay, well, I'll, I'll learn people spider bones. poison after we're done here. Yeah. Little bones, they're people bones. People bones. Yeah, this is a killing pit. This is where uh, when uh, uh, miners or the uh, imprisoned, the prisoners are taken and thrown in the pit if they're disobedient or are dead. And then the spider, yeah, like little people. <laughs> lots of little bones, little bones. Just lots of little bones. Think of all the fingers. All of the fingers. Think of all the fingers. 309 of them or bones of all the whole bodies. Yeah. So that would be like how many bones in the human body? That's like one and and like almost a half people. Okay. I think that is exactly one and a half people. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. Chester, swing it. Uh, That's not your roll, is it? No. I haven't rolled yet. Hack and slash. 12. 12. Yeah. Chester leaps forward, swinging that huge beam of wood. Bam! Smacks that spider right in the face. Do your damage. Uh, 1d10. I'm going to also do the extra damage. Uh, 4. And I will also smite it. So that is 16 damage total. And uh, how do you smite it? Does the fucking wood start glowing with your holy, holy Lord light or what? Um, it's oh god, it's holy shit, McTeddy. So oh, the god. the spider's head is the rock, and this wood is Excalibur, and I'm putting the sword in the stone. Oh shit. <laughs> um, and then and it glows a little bit as it just kind of crunches into the spider's head. It it, ru- it rears up. You can see a lot of its eyes, by the way, Floyd. You can see a lot of its eyes are are um, are kind of s- almost spinning as it's still like super high as it dies, hallucinating, <laughs> falls. At least he went out uh, with a lot of dopamine. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I mean, it was a lot of dope. <laughs> It so dope. we're definitely gonna try and collect like some spider silk, right? Because it's better than rope. Because the Ooh, tensile strain. We're just milking a dead spider butt. Is that what we're doing? 
All right, so uh, I'm gonna assume we're gonna, we're searching the rest of the killing pit, the bottom. Yeah. Okay. I think Floyd was even searching while that was happening. He's mostly <laughs> just trying to find Shade Slayer. Yeah. In the back. So the entire time the light is shifting and we can't see anything. <laughs> Shade Slayer seemed somehow kept itself from being confiscated and even found. I don't know how it did that, but it uh, it allows itself to be seen by you, Floyd, as not part of the shadows of the pit um, over in the corner. It keeps calling to you warmer, warmer, warmer until you find it. You're reunited with your magical weapon. Um, you also find that after searching around a bit, you find the microphone. Uh... It's just a it's just a piece of metal right with some it's like a it's like a short fat wire. yeah it's like a big funnel pretty much oh it's a big funnel okay yeah megaphone thing like like an old school like director megaphone kind of thing excellent <laughs> yeah the goblin the, the goblin orcs had no fucking idea what this thing was if they had realized it and started talking through it then it'd been a whole different story they probably would have been using it to yell at you guys but they're are you kidding smart. me they used it on their butts to make their farts louder. Let's yeah, be yeah, hundred percent. It's a bit stinky. It was a bit stinky indeed. Um, and you found some adventuring gear. Basically, what it means is, um, uh, when you need something, uh, let's say you need, I want a ten foot pole, then you have it. Uh, it's Ooh. one time, one time though oh. use for that. It's a limited, uh, mm-hmm. a limited sack. Love Zach. Like yeah, exactly. Limited love Zach. Praise the booty, by the way. What's up, Viper? Yeah. Anal Am I still Teddy? paralyzed? You are paralyzed. Great. Get, get the thing. Get the, the poison oil from can. the spider. Oil I would can. like this poison mm. from the spider, please. Please. Um, can we just, like, take the smashed in head and, like, have the poison ooze out of it onto Booble Snoot? You might, oh, if you I... search through that adventuring gear, you might find some antitoxin. Can I? So my arcane interference or arcane art um, allows me to uh, shake someone's head clear of an enchantment. I don't know if that would count for this. So I could like heal and then like de- take the debuff away. Doesn't Chester's lay on hands get rid of? diseases and toxins um, or am i imagining maybe. that i'm not sure i think i might be getting confused with different paladins <laughs> you are i can remove a disease yeah gotcha but this is not a disease i can remove one disease yeah. thing cooper are you looking through the adventure gear yeah you threw mostly uh mostly useless things except for a small bottle of something um that you hope desperately is antitoxin uh, you take it over. It smells horrible. You say, "I'm sorry, Boopal Snoot. If this is more poison, you dump yeah, it in Boopal right. Snoot's mouth." Yeah. <laughs> Boopal Snoot. It goes down. Uh, it burns. You can feel it burning. Um, but after a few seconds, you feel loosened, <sighs> oh. and you can move. Oh my! Thank you. <laughs> All right, and then I collect some of the poison so I can study it. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. Seeking of studying it cave while it's dying, poison. can I can I study the spider at all or no? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're really gonna have enough time, dude. Yeah, fuck it. You you don't need to study it really. Yeah, okay, because oh, yeah, you it's, already wait, it's know from one of my homelands already. Right, right, right. <laughs> but it's a different species, obviously thousands of but so it makes you can study it even quicker. You know what I mean? Like you might not have yeah, ever so seen like, a cave spider okay. like this, but you know spiders. So I know spiders, but now I know this spider. Yeah. And I will never <laughs> actually use this form because we have Cooper. Can I try to heal Pooper Snoop? Thanks. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. Boshman's gonna sing you a little song, Booper Snoop. Yeah, since, since you kind of jumped in the way and took that bite for me. Appreciate you. Appreciate it, yeah. Oh my gosh, Viper, that's a good idea. Can I just, like, I got put a it all ten. over my whip? Ooh. I'm gonna give you the big heels. Big heels. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's perfect, thank you. I overheal? I want to soak my wish you would step the back from that day my friend. <laughs> Alright, so Boople's healed. I am. Thank you. Okay. Um, The spider's venom glands are, you know, you can definitely soak your whip in that. Um, Do you actually, you know what though? I need you, 
If you really want to do that, I need you to roll a constitution save because you're going to be like touching it. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's worth it though, so I'm a. Constitution. Yeah. I just click this, right? Yeah. Or yeah, actually, you know what? Roll. You'd use dexterity. Is dexterity good for you? Um, no. My con is plus one. Okay, go ahead. Roll con plus con. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so there were. Uh, you're going to get two rolls. Cause, so, what this meant was. I was wondering if there were any cuts and scratches from from months and months of 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 you know doing this, and then of course yeah, all yeah. the shit that just has happened. That yeah, you have some cuts and stuff openings in your hands, and even though you're trying to be careful, some of that venom gets on your hands. So now make the Constitution sh- save that Booplesnoot did. Oh, <laughs> great! Oh no! Was so I roll con twice? Is that yeah? What you yeah. Mean? This this okay. was just to see if you had any cuts in your hands, and you do. I got twelve. Oh. oh shit! No problem. You're tough. You got yeah, the venom on your hands. Likes the way it tingles. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it doesn't. You just hurt look you. it off. Mm, tasty. Oh, maybe that's spider like sauce. from when I was dealing with the spiders in the forest. Maybe they Ooh. helped me out in that way. You right, know. Right. Right. Like, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So they just. They were not as terrifying as this. Yeah. Like they kept fighting you to get resistance to poison. Yeah. Little bits. For some reason, I'm imagining Cooper getting like it's venom hot. boarded. It's... <laughs> are, are, are we creating rockets right now? Like, I think that we could make that work somehow, though. Like that, they kind of taught me that sort of like resistance or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, doesn't need to this... be so drastic, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, is there any other loot uh, that we find under here? Um, you, uh, no, no, that's it. Okay. That's it. Time to, uh, time to harvest some spider silk as rope. Okay. the tensile strength of spider si- silk is like, how do you harvest super it? Super good. Like, how is it? Is it just a liquid in there and then it becomes a, a rope? When you you, you pull it out the butt, butt slowly. And you, you pull it out oh, the pull butt. out the butt. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I mean, I'm sure there's also a bunch of spider silk around us at the moment as well. Is there not? Yes. Let's start making some. Rope. Let's roll plus dexterity. Ooh, that's not great for me. Anybody? Eight. Eight. Um, okay, so it's gonna take you a little bit. You won't get as much, but I'll give you. Um, you got eight feet. Eight feet. Enough to hang myself with. Approximately enough to get out of here. Yeah. Ooh. The chasm is All right, eight I'll feet. Take it. Um, okay, I'll, I'll take eight feet of. All right, does anybody else want to try to collect spider silk? Sure. Oh, silk! We're doing silk now. Yeah, I'll spider do silk. that too. I, I got yeah. a minus one, but let's try. Yeah. I got a ten. ten. You got a ten. You got ten feet. Hell yeah! Eighteen feet total, because we can just totally combine it, right? Yep. Yeah. You yeah. Just sure roll they, dexterity, they Cooper. Eat. All right, we got lots oh, of rope. Geez. Six. Okay. No, six is a fail. I got thirteen. Oh. <laughs> what booples new? Thirteen for me. Thirteen. Holy shit! Booples new come out with thirteen feet wrapped around there. We got thirty-one feet right now. Yep. Anybody hey, else everybody else is doing it, yeah, so I feel bad if I don't. <laughs> you should feel bad. <laughs> eight. <laughs> eight feet. Eight, oh. eight feet. So we have just shy of 40 feet of, of spider silk. Nice. That's cool. I will add it to my gear. Just uh, what what did we say was the properties of the uh, the megaphone thing when I use it? That you can have multiple targets for metal or uh, metal or whatever they metal say. Hurlant. Metal metal hurlant. Metal yes. Hurlant. Yeah. Hurl. Well, I'm done here. Time to <laughs> go further beyond. Uh, you Let's guys see can... that map. Yeah. yeah. Let's see that map. So we're in the killing pit, so we yep. can keep going forward. You can. 
Um, if you follow the the uh, tunnel uh, that leads out, you come out. The uh, chasm is much closer to the opening of the tunnel than it was with the bridge over here. But the chasm is uh, is there, and there's spider webs. However, deep ass right spider web going across the chasm to the other side, and what looks like a little opening on the other side. It's pretty dark, but. There is webbing across that that you could possibly <clears throat> climb across. Surely there couldn't possibly oh, be another spider. And there are there are objects caught in uh, in the webbing, like Can pieces we use of those bodies and stuff. Walk across. Um, uh, more like stuff stuck. you might try to collect. Oh. But you could try to climb across. Using this spider I just, webbing. I just so don't know probably... if we get stuck in the web or not without using something else. That's what I'm getting at. Like, is it super sticky? Like, if we walk on it, our boot's going to stick, and then our feet will stick, and then we can't move? No. Okay. So it's we should up. probably, like, all cross first, and then, like, send one person to collect anything yeah. that we want. Well, this is the way it's going to go. It'll be a roll. It'll be plus dexterity. If you roll high enough, you'll manage to get across and grab something. Uh, okay. Okay. If you fail, you are going to be um, almost, you're going to be hanging by a thread, basically, and someone's going to have Ooh. to help you. Fantastic. Nice. I'll see y'all at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go first? I will. All right. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cooper it's a five. <laughs> secures their shield on their back, puts away with the whip, the belt. You run, you jump, you fall right through. <laughs> now Cooper's hanging. Uh -oh. You guys look over the edge. As you look over the edge, you see Cooper at the bottom of like a big thick part of webbing hanging. Great. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Someone who thing. rolls a ten can grab Cooper and get a, and help him across. If, if it would, actually... Cooper is the loot we find on the way over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh god! Oh, oh, god. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, is hanging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. I'm here with you. Oh, oh god! Oh god! I'm <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna have a heart to heart while we're just chilling here. <laughs> Eight. And a luck so that I can get. Uh, Chester, you You're are... You're already at nine. Chester, you managed... You, uh, I didn't roll. I didn't roll. You managed to that get yourself Google across? Snoot. That was Google Snoot. Oh, that was Google that was... Snoot. Oh, I'm sorry. What did yeah. you, yeah. you end up getting, Google? Nine. Uh, it's a nine. Nine. You, as you start going across with the idea of maybe helping Cooper and Fashma, you realize just how um, hard it is, and you just push yourself and manage to get across without sharing the same fate as Cooper and Fashma figure out how to get them. Okay, so I know I just said I wasn't going to use this because we have Cooper around, but can I turn into a spider to make this easier but for yeah. myself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can... Is it going to be as big as that one just was? You better uh, give us like, a gun. Yeah, based on my shape out here. After a roll. Floyd, get enough, <laughs> get enough holds. You could also help Cooper and Fashma. Butt rope to Let's the see. rescue. Come on. Ooh. Um, 11. 11 oh. is pretty good. That's, That's three holds. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so um, obviously you're gonna be able to crawl across, get skitter across pretty easy, and you can spend two of those holds to, I don't know, what do you do? Shoot some web down to have them grab on or something? But rope, yeah, probably. But How rope, you doing this? But yeah. <laughs> but that, may, that that sounds funny, funniest to me, and like it specifically wraps around like their torsos, so I drag them up in a very inconvenient manner when they get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're like hitting our face off the web. You're just dragging this behind you. <laughs> It's like, come on. It's always yeah, helpful to have okay. a druid. Druids are so yeah. helpful. So Cooper. And I'll just say that I used all three of my holds so that I don't have to remember. Okay. All right. All right. So that leaves um, Chester. Yeah. On the other side. Do this. Well, you might have to spend that third hold. Three. Like, why don't you spend the third hold on yeah, Chester? So I was, I was, yeah. <laughs> So just, I imagine Chester just like runs and he just he's too heavy. He just plummets, but then I catch him as he's falling yeah. down. <laughs> and I use the uh, I use the extra leverage for my extra long leg to hold on. 
and then I pull them up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, is one of your legs still a tentacle? One of my arms is a tentacle, yeah, so I okay. guess one of the front legs, technically. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be nightmare. It's like feel. a long spider <laughs> thing, I, but it's a tentacle. It's a little flappy. Since I have Shade Slayer now, I can uh, form it back into a spinner. It's oh, fine. Yeah. I'm flappergasted. <laughs> you are flappergasted. Uh, unfortunately, you guys, you unfortunately, you made it across <laughs> without anybody falling into the chasm. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't claim any of the loot that was on the way. There was absolutely uh, no stuff. Wait, we didn't miss wait, anything wait, cool. Wait, 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 wait. I have a way around this and gain all the loot. So, Floyd, you're you're currently a spider, correct? I have to spend the last of my spider form to save you. Oh, okay, so you're not a spider anymore. No. Yeah, like after I get you guys back up, I unspider. So, like, we could cut the rope on the other side and pull it up, and then we have free. We could just have a free, uh, free looting session. If somebody goes on the other side, cuts it, and then like swing uses that's it ridiculous. Swing. No, we just all almost died. No, Did you see how hard it was for us to get across the first time. <laughs> or are we gonna get back across? Three of us almost died. <laughs> that's most of us. I mean, two of us were really good at rope. It. We could probably just tie someone on, and they could climb down and get it if we cut the other side. That is very true. Just just tie it around the waist and lower him down like you got it. Just pull him up like the the claw machine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Are we still talking about how to try to get this loot? How are we? Yeah, I'm not. All right. Do we have it? <laughs> All right. We, 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 we can move on. It's fine. I, I, I am thought... fine with accepting the dice where they landed. <laughs> yeah, Why? me too. Why? <laughs> <laughs> there does seem to be a uh, really w you think it's a really well made sword out there like yeah that could be my sword okay I, I the rope <laughs> around your waist before you climb out there okay I was gonna ask somebody else to do it cause I'm strong enough to pull <laughs> them out uh, yes. yeah uh, which one of us is the lightest me <laughs> yeah, I'm the huffling one. Huffling. Uh, huffling. Sorry, Huffling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fine, I'll go do this. Thank you. Can I yeah. can I aid? What exactly is happening here now? So we're taking our almost forty feet of of spider rope, got it, tying it around Cooper. Got Cooper it. is going to attempt to just run across the bridge and grab the loot, and if got they it. fall, we can just pull them up with the rope down tied around their waist. Okay. Yeah. And we can do this an infinite amount of times until the rope breaks in. <laughs> okay, what am I rolling a dex again? Can, can I can I aid this roll? Uh like, I'll, I'll hold the rope or like I sure. don't know, something. Um Okay, there, there's nothing you could really d Is there any bardic shit you can do? Like that like, that thing that we could sing, sing an inspirational song, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, doesn't it, it does more than just healing? Aren't there, aren't there other options? Uh, the art, the arcane art does does another thing. It's a plus one or plus two instead, or plus two instead of plus one for aid. Okay. This is the next time somebody successfully assists the target with aid, they yeah. get plus two instead of plus one. Yeah, but so I don't know if like I could, I could give that to one of the two of them. I don't know how that would help though. <laughs> um, I could aid both of them and give them both plus two. <laughs> Uh, wait, it's plus two for what? Uh, it's it's there's a hold. They get yeah no. Well, I don't know. It says the the next time someone successfully assists the target, they get plus two instead of plus one. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, okay. This is just a, okay. So um, I don't know if that would apply here. Yeah. All right. So maybe they'll come into play if Chester has to pull Cooper out because yeah. it's kind of like Chester's uh, like defending them. Cooper, right. this is going to be the same role. This is a dexterity check. Yeah. You hit ten or better, you'll be able to get out better. there, get something, and come back. Eight. An eight. Okay, so you're gonna. I, I, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna grab something, uh, but then Chester's got to pull your ass out. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> you start falling, and so um, uh, and that's gonna be, and you're gonna be tangled and stuff too. Um, were you? What were you going for? Um, that sword. Okay. And I got a 10 on the strength to pull them out. Okay. You pull out. When you come, P P Cooper comes back out, you see it's a gorgeous sword. 
It's a it looks like it was elven of elven make, but it's a um, <clears throat> but it's a it's a precise blade. It's a small. It's gorgeous. It's got to be worth like sixty gold. It's like beautiful, but um, it's definitely uh, <laughs> it's a precise weapon that uses dexterity instead of strength, and hack and slash. Ooh. Hey, Poopal Snoot. Chester's <laughs> pullout game is really good. Uh, but... Always. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Wow. Uh, Did Boople Snoo just get her their first sword? Is that what we're saying? Yeah. I think nobody I else think wants it. it. Nobody yeah, else, I else have a positive dex. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody else has a positive dex modifier. Nope. Yeah. And you got plus okay. two, right? Yeah. I do. So you have a gorgeous and deadly. It's uh, its name is an elven script 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 on the side. Uh, if can I read what it says? Yes. Uh, I'm an elf. Uh, <laughs> lo, uh, I'm gonna I'm spell this, and you could tell us how to pronounce it, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Mister Health. L O S S E with umlauts. H E L. Which one was the umlaut? Is that the two dots? Yeah, it's the two yeah. dots. Yeah. yeah. Losel. <laughs> its name is Loss. 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 Okay. <laughs> nice. Lolo. Okay. What does yeah. it mean? Does it tell you what it means? No. You okay. tell us. Um, so, well, first of all, does Boop Snoop actually ask what it means? <laughs> or is, are no. you just like, okay, then I don't have to worry about it. I'm I was going to make so up some dumb, silly answer. Whatsoever. <laughs> no, I have called it Lolo and I'm forging its new path on my own. Nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, was there anything else other than it uses dex? No. Okay. It's close. Do we want to try for one. more loot? Okay. Okay. This used to be a, a showgirl's uh, sword. I believe that. <laughs> you see a oh, you see glitter. I see. You see a like what looks like it might be a uh, clay pot. You see um, what looked like maybe a pair of gloves out there, and then a small uh, glass something other. Might be an ink glass pot too. Uh, clay fine. Pot, glass pot. Am I going yeah. back yeah. out there? Fine. It's your choice, but like before you go. Okay. Well, never mind. A nine. <laughs> uh, a, a nine. Okay, same deal. You're gonna get whatever you went out there for, but you're uh, you're falling. Uh, nine as well. Okay. Um, I mean, I do also don't have to be the only one holding this other end of the rope, guys. Like, no, this out. would be where Foshman needs to step in and help. Yeah. Foshman, you're going to give okay. Chester... Yeah, but essentially Bardic Inspiration, I guess. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. That's Does nice Cooper just need the 10 to succeed? <clears throat> yeah. Could I try using the 8 action and roll oh. my plus... Oh, well, they already rolled anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, Fashman blew it. Oh, it. They didn't roll very Yeah, I, I fucked that up hard. <laughs> uh, can I use the aid or interview action? I have to make a bond roll plus, and if I get a 10 or more, they get a plus one. Okay, yeah. Uh, how many of these are Cooper bonds? That's a Cooper bond. Well, you have the one with the mushroom. Mm-hmm. Oh, you you get to add the amount of bonds, right? Okay. Yeah, I was. I think it's plus two. Yeah, what about, I that's, two on that's my decent. side, too. Because no. it was from the mushroom dance and the bond from uh, Cooper tying his stick to try to even me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the ant, yeah, in the ant form. <laughs> yeah. Two so d six plus two. If it's a ten or better, they get a plus one. If not, I might also be in danger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, the loot isn't <laughs> worth it. Loot goblin mode activate. All right, 12. Oh, I nice. didn't even need the plus two. Nice. nice. Okay. So, uh, Cooper, what did you go for? Um, the There was well, a clay pot looking thing. There was a pair of gloves. And then there was like a glass um, something like a potion type deal. Yeah, that. Uh, the oh the glass okay yeah all right um oh, shit I have to pull something up because this is uh I mean we've already got half of the loop we might as well stay for the rest 
Oh my gosh. God damn it. <laughs> Have we not figured out I'm not great at this? <laughs> do you need me to do it? Yeah, yeah maybe. We, we just asked if light, you were but... light enough, but that, like... I'm not... We know you're also strong, Cooper, so then there's two strong people pulling the robe, so it doesn't re it really evens out. Yeah. I'm here to I'm just here to for emotional support. <laughs> Is Cooper malnourished right now? I am. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a I'm just surviving on adrenaline. So you found a bottle of the ink of Anum Shun. Make a promise to the demon Amun Shun and choose an area you can see. And then that area is going to be filled with a supernatural darkness and shadow. That's dope. Do not make a promise you cannot keep. That's dope. Wow. Shit. I promise I will try. <laughs> Look at you wishing for more wishes, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you brought back with you that first time, that second time. Mm -hmm. So now we still have a clay pot out there and a pair of gloves. I'm not going back out there. Okay, fine. We'll tie fine, it to I'll go. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll go. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. I'll hold right. the rope too. Tie me up. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Eat me. Ah. Uh, Dex. You, you kind of just run. Yeah. I don't know what. So I click it. It doesn't do anything. I have to click it like eight times before it rolls. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thirteen. Nice. Thirteen. Nice. Fucking teen. Yeah. What'd you go for? The clay pot or the gloves? Clay pot. Clay pot. pot. You bring it back and you open it up, and it is some of it looked familiar to you, and it was. It's one the other of your acid, uh, or not acid? Oh uh, shit! Poison. Which see, one did you see? What happens when uh, we get all me. the loot? Yeah. Yay! It's back. Okay. We Good, get the I stuff never back it from a character sheet. All right, I go out again. Okay. We getting those gloves. Please? I'm very interested in these gloves. I don't know why. Please. Nine. 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 Okay, so you, same deal. So you get out there, you just you grab the gloves, and then suddenly the uh, webbing gives out. In fact, um, a, a large strands of it start giving up. The whole bridge thing is collapsing now. Nine as well. Yeah, I got a seven. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay, so... Um, well, that's two people pulling up. Okay, this is this is the choice. Boopus note either take D6 damage as they hit the the side as they swing down and hit the side, or you drop the gloves. D6 of damage, you say? <laughs> I'm still cheering it, it, from the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> D6 damage, I say. Yeah. Okay. I'll take I'll take a D6. I mean, God damn, these dice hate me today. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Okay. Three points of damage. You slam into the side of the of the chasm, but you main uh, you you keep hold of the gloves as you pulled up. I got the gloves, you guys. The gloves are um, they look to be some kind of leather. They look to be is that blood blood stained? These are the killing gloves of Zahir Slunk. Once you put them on, you cannot take them off until they have been bathed in blood. They give you plus one damage. Is that I something you're going to wear? Like those should go to late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I would like to heal Poopoo Snoot. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Uh, 11. I heal 1d8 points of damage to Poopoo Snoot. Uh, you get four damage bake. Sweet. I'm back up to full. Ah, oh, that's better. Thank you, guys. See what happens when you get all the loot. You feel better about yourselves. <laughs> do we? I do not feel better about myself. <laughs> did you die? What did you die? Almost three times. <laughs> but you're not. And now we have better stuff to uh, go and kill the other people that probably has our other stuff. Can we see the map again? I was going to say, you hear... You hear, uh, and the and uh, kind of and, uh, far away, you think you hear chanting. Mm -hmm. You are in a small. This is much smaller. It's not a full-on hallway. It's more like a like a air and um, um, like where air would come in and out. Just kind of like an airway. 
So you're gonna have to, you're, you're not gonna have to crawl, but you have to crouch down. It's great for Cooper. The other ones you got to crawl on. And you kind of led down this thing, hearing this chanting, and uh, you come out to a little opening that opens out about eight, 10 feet off the ground. And you're looking down into this uh, large room. There's a, uh, uh, there is a symbol painted on the ground in some kind of luminescent stuff. And there's the wizard Drazul is standing there and he seems to be chanting something. And you see what looks like bodies of dead orcs and goblins getting up off the ground as he's chanting. Their well, eyes lit kind. with green fire. What? It's not very kind. You seem to have caught Drazul in the middle of a ritual to bring back the dead. Oh. Ooh, cool, cool. And that's where we're going to we... end for tonight. 